So, you're thinking of trying out veganism. Well, you're not alone. According to a poll, the number of vegans in Britain quadrupled between 2014 and 2016, from 150,000 to 600,000. And the good news for vegans is that there are some known health benefits. For example, they tend to have lower cholesterol and blood pressure than omnivores, which means they have a lower risk of heart disease. But what impact can a vegan diet have on the brain? It's often assumed that animal foods are just a source of protein and iron. However, did you know that some key nutrients for brain health are found predominantly or even exclusively in animal-derived foods? One such nutrient found in fish, meat, poultry, eggs and dairy products is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiencies can leave such profound marks on the brain that they are visible in brain scans. There are now over 40 individual case reports of babies as young as two weeks being hospitalised due to B12 deficiency after being born and exclusively breastfed by strict vegetarian or vegan mothers. With recent surveys indicating that 38% of UK vegans are females aged 16 to 44, it is important that vegans and vegetarians, especially those planning pregnancy, are aware of the need to supplement with B12. If you are following a strict vegan diet, it's worth being aware of some of the low-level symptoms of B12 deficiency, such as headache, fatigue, poor concentration and brain fog, and low mood and depression. And although vegans have a lower risk of heart disease, they have a higher risk of the most common type of stroke compared to meat eaters, which is thought, at least in part, to be due to low levels of B12. Another brain healthy nutrient found most abundantly in animal foods is choline. Found in liver, egg yolks, beef and oily fish, your body uses choline to produce a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine, which plays key roles in learning, memory, attention, motivation and healthy sleep. The amount of choline in the diet influences how much acetylcholine is available in the brain and central nervous system. And since plant foods contain much less, this puts vegans at risk of insufficiency. The good news is that another compound called betaine might be able to do some of the work of choline. Betaine is found in whole grains, spinach and beetroot. However, more research is required to clarify the potential role of betaine. And in the meantime, lecithin is a useful plant-based source of choline, which can be bought as a supplement. Now, according to the World Health Organization, the single most important preventable cause of brain damage worldwide is iodine deficiency. This is linked to intellectual and cognitive deficits across populations. Iodine is a mineral naturally rich in seaweed, fish and seafood. It's also added to animal feed, so our other main dietary sources are dairy, eggs and, outside of the UK, iodised salt. For this reason, a range of studies report that omnivores typically meet or exceed the adequate intake for iodine. However, vegetarians have moderate to low amounts and vegans hover at around 20 to 30% of the adequate intake. And, of course, I can't end without mentioning the omega-3 fats. These irreplaceable fats are not just the building blocks of brain cells, they are also essential for mood regulation, cell signalling and for switching off inflammation. Unfortunately, hardly anyone, whether they're vegan or not, is eating enough of the food sources of these fats, oily fish. For vegans, an algae-based omega-3 supplement may be helpful. Overall, a well-planned vegan diet can be delicious, nutritious and environmentally friendly. But the moral of the story is that if you're going to cut out any food group from your regular diet, it's important to first check with a qualified nutritionist to see if there's any nutrient deficiencies that you need to look out for.